Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to do some more Link Ray. This one's called Slinky. And it's another easy one, okay? Link Ray is known for a lot of different styles. Some people say he invented the power cord. Um, I don't know if you know what a power cord is, so if you don't, it's this little shape here. <laughs> And the beauty of that is you can move it up and down the strings. And up and down the frets. Once you've got your power chord down, the next thing to look at is your bar chords. So you've got your major shapes whereby you're taking your chord shape and you're moving that up and down the fretboard using your first finger as the nut, so to speak. So, E, F, G, A, and so on. That's a cool little exercise if you want to Practice your bar chords. You can call that the E shape bar chord as it's taking that E shape. Just moving that up and down. You've got your A shape one as well, your A shape bar chord. That's the one we're going to be using today. So if you play an A chord. Move it all up one fret and then place your first finger down on the first fret as a kind of capo thing. Then you're moving that chord up and down. It's not the easiest thing to play, so you can simplify that a bit. Let's say we're playing it over here in D. How about you just take your first finger and your third finger and you flatten in both. So your third finger is covering three strings on your D there. So you got. You might accidentally hit that top E string as well. That works sometimes, but you can try and focus your pick not to do that. Also sometimes you can drop your first finger down all the way and hit that A note and that kind of works. So you're using two fingers to cover all, all the strings. So the first notes in Slinky, we're doing that in E. Try not to hit that top E note. You could play it as a power chord if you wanted. Your first finger is on the 6th fret of the A string. Your third finger is on the 8th fret of the D string. And your little finger is on the 8th fret of the G. There's your shape if you're doing the power chord. Try the bar chord. And that is the basis of Slinky. So you got that going on on the E. Then it moves up to the A. But we're not playing the A here, we're going to play it up here. So, that starts on the 11th fret. And then you do one on the 12th. You 
12th fret there, that is the octave. So from your open string, you've got an open A there. Play the 12th fret, that's another A. And everything is repeated after that. That works up and down the strings. So basically, whatever you play down here on your open strings, if you replicate that shape up on the 12th, that's also an A chord. So same shape, same chord, and that works for everything. You probably knew that, but anyway, so we've got to the A. Goes back to the E. There's a little lick starting on the third fret on your B, and then it goes to your second and your first, and then open. And your E string is always going to be ringing. rhythm pattern is like this. And that is it, that is slinky. We've got a backing track for this and an example track so you can hear it's three hits and then you come in and again I'd like to thank our friend Gary Chamberlain for helping us he's been playing the drums for the backing track and Adam Richards was playing the electric bass on this as well when it comes to the solo it's more or less the same shape so we're playing in E we're gonna hit these three strings We're doing downstrokes. You don't have to do downstrokes, but it gives it a bit more power if you can. It's punk rock. This is what the, the Ramones do. It's not great if you've got RSI. Just do whatever you want to do. It's fine. goes to the A and then back to the E just hitting those three notes and it comes down to that lick again and he keeps picking away for those notes there And as we've seen before with Link Ray, he'll do a, a nice fast thing. I don't know what you call that. Uh, just does that. <laughs> it's like a mandolin stroke thing or something. There'll be a word for it and I'll make it pop up there and we'll all have learnt something today. Right. I'm not 100% sure. He might, he may be playing this up here as well. Because of course you can play your E chord here as well. Have a listen, see what you think. So he's on the E for a bit when it changes to A with the E shape. It might sound complicated actually, but he's just doing this. So he's taking these notes here. The 
top half of that bar chord. And he's doing his fast stroke on that. At some point he adds he adds in this note here. The seven. on that E again, does a little cheeky extra note here, kind of slows down a bit and something like that. And then back to that lick again. And that is it. Link Ray Slinky, my new Gretsch Historic, the Armin 2000s, it's got a center block down the middle so it's like, it's heavy, let's see what happens with that, I'm gonna do a link so you can get the backing track, there'll be some tabs as well, also an example track so you can hear how it might sound. You just listen to Slinky by Link Ray. There you go, power chords, bar chords, fast mandolin strumming. By the way, the only way to kind of really get that is just to sit and practice it. Go nice and slow to start off with. give a little tip on that I'd say maybe hit the strings light, lighter so there's less resistance it's like a little stroke like you're stroking a little kitty you don't want to scare it start off really lightly used to it you can add a little bit more pressure and then I guess you'll you'll get to know if it's working or not it's a fun technique you can use it for loads of stuff of the surf kind of fast picking tremolo. <laughs> Here's Gary Chamberlain for the drum track. He did this ages ago when we were in lockdown, and he's uh, he's been very generous with his with his time, sorting us out with backing tracks and just being a general good dude. Adam's provided the electric bass, so you're essentially jamming with Adam Richards and Gary Chamberlain, which is fun. Visit the website for more lessons and tabs, and thanks for watching the nice cat's eyes. Meow. Yeah.